What's up everybody, Matt Philly here for Swash and TV. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my holiday wish list for 2014. Now before you go and look at my wish list and judge me for having some expensive things on there, uh, really the whole wish list is far-fetched. I mean, most people's wish lists are far-fetched. I mean, let's be real here. No, I don't think I'm going to get a 4K TV anytime soon. Maybe next year when I actually go and do the ultimate setup project, which uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen that, just uh, click that right there. Don't worry though, because I did not put a lot of things on there that were like questionable. I, I kept it pretty simplistic, but again, I still don't even think I'm going to get a lot of these things, but uh, I wanted to share it with you guys because they're things that have interested me, things that I want to get, and uh, if money was no object, well, I would get it. But keep in mind that this wish list is always going to be changing. Whether I'm removing things or adding things, it's always going to be changing. And you could actually keep up to date with it by clicking the link down in the description. That way you can see what it's like at that point in time. As I go through some of these things, let me know if uh, you have any experience with that specific product, if it's really worth getting, there's any alternatives that are actually better, anything like that, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. And I'll remind you guys at the end of the video, but I wanna hear your wish list, whether you post a link on Twitter to me so I could see it, or if you're just gonna post some of the key things you want in the comments, I wanna know what you guys wanna get because it might give me an idea. First thing on my list is an ASUS 28 inch LED 4K monitor. Mwah, so good. Now obviously I don't have it, so I don't know how good it is. So if you know any alternatives or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. But those are actually the monitors I plan on exchanging for uh, my AOC 27 inch right behind me. So when I redo my setup, it could be pretty sexy. I also plan on getting the Avermedia. I think it's Avermedia. Avermedia? I think it's Avermedia. Okay, all the gamers are gonna be like, what a noob. But I do plan on getting the Avermedia LGP, the live gaming portable. It's really, really cool. It's pretty inexpensive and it will be an awesome addition to my setup. Some of you may know that I've used an Elgato in the past, but they have never been mine, they're my brothers. So I wanna get my own gaming capture card and this one actually works specifically with Wirecast, which would save so much frustration. The problem with Elgato is that it never worked with Wirecast and it really caused an issue. So anytime that I ever streamed on Swashin, which is our Twitch name, it's been shit and it's because of the Elgato. I put two games on there, um, GTA 5 for Xbox One and Halo Master Chief Collection. <sighs> I, uh, I don't wanna get too much into it, but I wanna get Halo right now, but I'm gonna try to resist because I wanna get GTA next week and I just bought COD and I barely played COD at all, so I gotta calm down. So maybe I'll just get that for Christmas, that way I don't have to waste some of that dough, you know what I'm saying? I am gonna get GTA though next week when it comes out, so that's gonna disappear soon, okay? Okay. Now, I said in my vlog that I wasn't gonna say this because it would sort of give away everything, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. I need to get three monitors. Now, I obviously don't have a bajillion dollars and I really don't even have the money to get three monitors and still have money to do everything else I do in my life. So, uh, I'm gonna most likely get them little as we go. So one and then maybe another and then another, but basically this thing is gonna require three monitors. And I actually found probably the best one for me to get. So if you guys have any ideas of a better monitor to get three of that are affordable, yet have the one millisecond response time, so on and so forth, let me know. But this Asus LED 23.6 inch monitor is amazing with one millisecond response time and the VES amount. I didn't look too much into the specifications of it yet, so if there's something wrong with it, let me know. But I need something that has a VES amount and I need something that has close to a one millisecond response time. This just so happened to have the one millisecond response time and the vest amount, and it's also really affordable. I'm looking to replace my Mac keyboard because right now the Apple wireless keyboard is I absolutely love it and I would never have changed it all these years that I used it because it was just that good. But this one's starting to go to the side and uh, it's really a little irritating because it's like unbalanced so it's like shaking and I've tried cleaning it and all these different it just needs to go I've had it for a long time so I'm either a gonna replace it with another of the exact kind or I'm gonna go and move towards mechanical or I'm going to find a nice wireless Mac keyboard that will work just as well I've seen some black versions of those keyboards I don't know exactly where I would find those I didn't really look but if you guys know let me know in the comments below otherwise I plan on just picking up the uh, Logitech K811, that was really the best I could find, but I'm sure you guys know some better ones. And 
What do you guys think? Should I get Mechanical? I mean, I don't plan on gaming necessarily on my Mac. I, I don't game as much as it is already, so I don't think I'm going to do that until I uh, get a PC. So should I get a Mechanical or no? I put a lot of like video sort of accessories, basically tripods, sliders, a jib, and oh yeah, a little tent sort of light studio for uh, photography or so it says, I plan on using that for video reviews. You know, if I want to actually have nice product footage and B-roll and such, I really need to have that environment. And uh, I don't have that right now. As you can see in my speaking review, it was shit. And last but not least, what you guys are probably most interested in is the Philips Hue, which I've been wanting for the longest time. I just didn't really think I needed it. But now that I'm going to be redoing my whole setup, I think it will be key to have it set up at least to three bulbs and if anything i could buy an extra bulb or whatever now that philips hue actually added some uh, family members <sighs> there's even more things that i want but damn the price tag it's like it's mind-boggling they have the light strip and the bloom that i'm looking to get you can see on my wish list exactly what those are ah they're like really expensive and i really really would like to have everything linked to the the philips hue app and so on and so forth but it's just not worth the price point so i was just kind of putting it there to inform you guys about it if you were looking for it in certain situations it's worth paying that price for the strip because you want to match it with the app and uh, all the other light bulbs and sort of keep that feel but i think when i do my actual setup i'm going to just have the rgb strips and connect it all to one and call it a day but uh i don't know it's money it's all about the money <laughs> All right, that's it though. I'm gonna, if, gah, if I don't turn it off now, I'm just gonna keep talking and you guys know I like to talk. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at my wish list. Again, it's gonna be changing all the time. So go and check out the link in the description and also share yours. Let me know what is it that you want this holiday season and uh, maybe we'll, we'll be happy because we'll both get what we want. And if you just so happen to wanna buy something like the 4k monitor or tv off my list i mean it's there you just click it and it ships to me so you know okay all right i'm just kidding you don't have to buy me anything unless you want to all right so thanks for watching guys if you want to send me any fan mail or anything like that i do have my p.o box listed down in the description be sure to follow me on twitter at matt philly follow swash and n pin my setup on twitter which is swash tv at pin my setup there you go it's as simple as that and uh yeah i'll catch you on the next episode of pin my setup or whatever the video may be on here so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the Liberty Flop. Bye bye.